Hi guys and welcome to another video of Amazon Bates and 87. This one's a bit of a news video, a bit of an update video to keep you guys in the know. Now I know a lot of you don't use the EA forums. I've only just started using the EA forums and some of you don't even use Twitter um, as well because not all your likes seem to pop through on Twitter. So today we have the title update number three um, released by uh, EA on PC today and it's going to be with the consoles, i.e. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at a later date. Now I was in Chewboy's stream as it was uh, released and we're all talking about it and uh, Chew Boy said being an ex-EA employee did say it will be a minimum of Tuesday that it will be uh, more likely to, vote, to be towards the uh, to be towards the two week mark um, before it's actually released on the console so there's a few things in here which we're going to discuss, talk about, and let me know what you guys think of the uh, decisions by EA to change some things, especially one of them, especially when it, which addresses Ultimate Team, um, a problem, but also a money-making thing at the same time. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, because I bring you daily... Um, Videos, news, whatever, and uh, we like to mix it up a bit. So, we've got a post of Rob Hodson, the uh, community manager on the forums, and he goes, Hello, FIFA fans. I know a lot of you guys aren't fans, but we're going to read through it anyway and discuss the certain topics which are going to happen. Not all of it is Ultimate Team, I must ha add that. The third title update for FIFA 16 is now available on PC. The title update will be available for PS4 and Xbox One at a later date, like I said. The updates... Um, the update includes new content. So we've got star heads for some players, many of which are newly promoted into the back of this Premier League. And that's like the head scan, so we might be seeing some more player faces and uh, maybe even might see some player faces changing on the cards as well on Ultimate Team. Um, so it's the back of this Premier League players mainly. We've got new third kits being added for Roma, Barcelona and Inter Milan. All of them release their kits later on into the game. So that's three new items which potentially could be adding into Ultimate Team. Um, the silver Roma kit, the Barcelona blue kit and also the Inter Milan yellow kit. You guys have seen me wearing the Roma and the Barca third kits anyway for the Champions League. Um, this, all, this update includes general stability improvements and addresses the following items identified by the community and the FIFA Live service team. So we've got improvements to online matchmaking. I've never had an issue with that, but I presume a majority of you guys have. Uh, one instance where the team celebrating a goal at the wrong moment, that's something I've not seen. Uh, an exploit uh, to win loss record in FIFA online seasons. I don't really play FIFA. I only play Ultimate Team. You guys know that anyway. Uh, correct uh, country flags appearing in FIFA Pro Clubs. One instance of the FIFA uh, of the Pro Club accomplishments resetting for a small number of users. I've actually, I think Tobias was actually one of these people. I've seen uh, him tweeting about um, accomplishments on Pro Clubs not actually setting and him having to redo them every single time. And an issue on PS4 that caused screen size changes to not save correctly. So, with that, that's the brief one. And now we start looking at Ultimate Team. This is where it affects a lot of my viewers. It affects me as well in some ways. But I'm not that bothered about it because of... Um, Obviously, I'm shit here, and you guys know what that is going to be. So we've got, in addition to the above, the update addresses the following in Ultimate Team. Updated the default value assigned to the Buy Now option to the max value when listing an item for sale on the transfer market. Basically... RIP bin sniping because as you guys know we did do a video um, addressing the issue where where you go to list up a player and it has the minimum value set which you can list it and then the minimum bin is like 100 coins to 150 coins um, above that so it, it, it's like you would list a player up accidentally Luke Daily Render who makes the graphics on my channel he listed a player up today and uh, listed him up for minimum and he was worth 25k so he missed out on 25k coins and it's Basically, people accidentally doing stuff, and EA have addressed that, and they've actually gone got rid of bin sniping. Um, so you guys who search for players at minimum value, hoping that people accidentally list them, that's going to go out the window. Not only were you getting banned temporarily from the transfer market, but... Um, you now, when you do go to list a card, it'll have its minimum value and then its max bin will be its max bin value depending on what the price ranges are. So that's been sniping gone and that's the main talking point of the video. Now let me know your thoughts on this going. Are you happy about it? Are you not happy about it? I know the traders out there, it'll kill trading, big style. You can still pick players up for um, a percentage less than uh, um, the other bin, but obviously you, when you're going for the huge profits, bin sniping is the only way forward. Now you've got two weeks, guys. I'd say about two weeks before the patch does hit the next-gen consoles. Unfortunately, there's nothing mentioned about Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, so I can't bring any news on that. But let me know your thoughts and what you're going to do to try and make some money on Ultimate Team Coins uh, when the patch does come in. 
We also have improvements to compare price when using the consumable items. There's no like there's no further talking into points like this. We have an issue where the goalkeeper was the default selection for playables. I had that. I think that was an issue last year as well, but that's been changed now. An issue in settings where the image of the ball didn't uh, match the selected ball. Not really something I've noticed either. An issue what that caused a shared concept squad to be displayed as a playable squad in the EA Sports Football Club newsfeed. Um, I've seen a few people tweeting me actual coming up against uh, concept squads. Whether that's uh, addressing that, we'll never know. An issue with the use of historical kits by your opponent in player friend squad. So... Very minimal updates, no gameplay changes mentioned, even though when the patch does come out, we're all going to bitch and moan that the gameplay has changed, when more than likely, nothing has been changed, nothing has been mentioned gameplay-wise in this, apart from the one instance of a team celebrating a goal at the wrong moment, which is obviously... Um, which obviously I've not mentioned it anyway. Um, so that's the full update for the ti uh, title update 3, which will be released on um, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in the coming um, days to weeks. We don't know an exact date. And also it's released on PC now, so if you're a PC user, uh, you'll be able to see the difference. Um, it also says thank you to all the FIFA fans who continue to provide their, co provide their constructive feedback on Twitter, i.e. when EA tweet, you tell them to fuck off and KYS and, and kill yourself and get cancer. As I do see you do see a lot of tweets um, to EA from that, so that's I won't count that as constructive feedback, to be honest. Um, Facebook and the EA forums throughout the course of FIFA 16 season will provide you with more information and updates if and when they become available. Play on the FIFA team. So that's the final spotlight of this, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this little informational video. Let me know what you think of the bin sniping issue, as that is a huge thing and probably a, uh, a major fact of the title update for a lot of people on here. Traders out there. I know it's going to affect you, so I want to heed you here, cut your comments, and uh, feel free um, to let me know what you think of the update. So, guys, leave a like, rate on the video, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and we'll be back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy.